everyone welcome back to my channel it's Jess here and Scarlett in the background today I thought we'd do something fun and we could do like a bridal tutorial I definitely know I would want to do my own makeup for my wedding <laughs> whatever that is um, I'm not getting married or anything like that but I just want to like Let's do trials on camera together. I, I feel like I know exactly what I would want to do. I would want to keep it very natural. So if you want a natural kind of look and you want to see how we're going to do it, then please keep watching. The first thing I want to talk about is this amazing rose face mask. It's infused with rose um, petals and like, oh, it's just so freaking amazing. This makes my skin feel so hydrated. I usually put this on at night, but for my brides, I like to do a few masks before we even start the application of makeup because I think it's so important to make sure your skin is ready for everything that's going to come on and like you have the best hydration going on. So when we do apply that makeup, it's just going to, you're going to look even more radiant. You're going to look like a, like, like a little angel walking in a white dress. I'm going to be taking some of this vitamin E oil to start off with and I'm actually going to be putting this on my skin. I'm just going to start by putting that all on my face and don't forget your neck. I like to go at the back too. If you haven't watched my last video with the Kim Kardashian look, or I think it was my second last video, I use the Gerard Cosmetics lip scrub. This is a really great lip scrub. Just smells like Play Doh, that's all. I'm taking some of this amazing cream and I'm going to pop that all over my face. I have already gone ahead and applied my um, other oils, but that was in the morning. I'm going in with the Becca Champagne Pop Illuminator, one of my favorites. It broke, so it's in a container. I, I'm sure you've heard the story. Now, I know some of you may be asking why I'm not applying primer, and that's because I have done some skin treatments before, and I feel like I've already layered everything that I've wanted on, all my skin oil preps. So I personally wouldn't want to use a primer on my skin just because I have put so many amazing things already to combat everything. Shiny! I mean, did you really think I wasn't going to use my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette? So I'm going to first start off by placing this like on my crease and I'm just like very messily putting that everywhere and I'm gonna bring it out past my brow with a more flat Morphe brush I'm gonna take that shimmery pinky and whitey shade and I'm gonna be popping that on my lid and like the and I'm just gonna blend that the rest like out with my finger With a more precise brush, I'm going in with a deeper brown and I'm just going to be placing that around here. I'm going to use that black shade from the palette and I'm just going to like stamp that on my lash line just to give my eyes a bit more of a dimension and what I will do is give myself the littlest flick because I feel like when I do those little flicks it really elongates my eye and I'm going to keep it very straight as well so as we're pressing I'm just going to press that out now you, you want to make sure you don't follow your actual shape your line because it kind of usually goes down never goes up so Make sure you're careful with that. <laughs> now 
Now, for the brows, I will want to keep them super simple. Um, so I'm just going to brush them up. I'm using the brow bar to go. I have a discount code if you want to use it. You can. So I personally like starting from the bottom of my brow, working all the way across until I'm satisfied with that shape. Mm, yep, yeah, pretty good. And then I just go back and forth until I'm kind of satisfied with it. I do use quite a light hand as well. Using my favorite spray, the Gerard Cosmetics Lavender with the O Brow. And the spring. And then I like to just brush them up first and like I'm gonna be taking these model rock lashes so I'm probably gonna be adding just two to elongate my eye as well like with the liner I'm just going to go ahead and curl my lashes. That's basically that eye complete. I'm just going to go ahead and do my other eye and then we'll get back onto the face. I did go in with the Danessa Micros Waterproof Cream. Um, I should have applied that earlier. I completely forgot about this. So sorry about how the palette looks, but this is... The best I use this pink shade and that whitey shade and I just kind of popped that on top of that go in with I think you already guessed it the Giorgio Armani luminous silk favorite foundation literally of all time I think the first time that I ever used this was um, in America 2000 and when did I go 2013 I think yeah it was 2013 and that's when my addiction started so now I'm gonna go in I'm gonna actually mix this this is the Becca under eye brightening cream I'm gonna mix that with the NARS um, what is this ginger and I'm using honey as well now I'm gonna mix my concealer with my corrector so it already gives me that pink tinge that we need Instead of going in with two different layers, we're just mixing the two to get that flawless finish. I think it's so much better than mixing. The more product you put under your eyes, the more it will crease. Use this lighter concealer by Tarte. I'm just placing that right here. Just so we can cancel out my hollowness <sighs> I love her. and I'm just going to use the same brush that we used to apply it and I'm just patting that all in so we're going back in with the Danessa Micros palette and I'm using this goldy bronzy shade I'm actually going to use my finger for this and I'm just going to like dab that on here this is gonna be my contour shade and then I use a different finger and we blend that I love using um, my finger for these kinds of products now with a more dense brush I'm just gonna start using that to really buff everything in with the sunset strip nude stick this is such a great 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 blush so I'm going to apply quite a lot and I'm going to bring it up. And now I'm going in with my blush brush and we're just going to start by blending that in. And if you're not familiar with my blending technique, get on it. It's the tap, then roll. The tap, then the roll. little bit of bronzer just a little bit really like the slightest touch and this is the Fenty Beauty and I actually take the same brush that I use for my blush and I'm just gonna Not 
to add more to our glow, I'm going to go back in with the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. And I'm just taking the littlest amount with my finger and I'm just popping that where I would want to place my highlight. I think I would definitely just use this on its own. It is one of the most lightest and yet so... How can I even explain this? I don't know, I'm just obsessed with it. So for my lower eye, my lower lash line, I'm only going to put a little bit of black from there to there and that's just going to accentuate that cat eye effect and give it really, like make it really... This is the blush that I'm talking about and I really like it because it's got, it's pink but it's got like little, I don't know, it's just, it's such a nice colour and I feel like it will work very well with everything that we've got going on. Now I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. So for lips, I'm going in with my all-time favorite Essence Liner in 07. This is a very nice, very nice color. I'm just gonna line. So I'm not only gonna line my lips, but I'm gonna color it in. Now, I don't know if you watched my latest video of the BYS review, but this is the Rose Colored Gloss, and it is, honestly, it's so nice, and I really like the color. I said in my last video, it really reminds me of the Fenty Gloss Bomb. The Art Bien. All right, everyone, this is the final result. I'm a bride. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and let me know what videos you want to see next. I hope this helped you with some bridal things. And I mean, who knows if this will change when I actually do get married, but I kind of like... I kind of like how it's going. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I feel like I always change my mind and I'll probably do so many different kind of looks. But this is definitely one look that I love and I can trust that we'll do the job. You know what I mean? <laughs> Send me a photo of your bridal makeup if you have gotten married. And if you're not married, then show me what look you would want to do. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Bye.